Hi everybody, I'm excited to announce our upcoming workshop two-day special on November 3rd and 4th on how to use your intuition. Angie Check, my wife, and I will be sharing all sorts of exercises, techniques. I'll teach you a lot of things about how we get intuition, where it comes from, what blocks it. I'll give you a number of exercises and practices on how to clear ourselves, such as doing some shadow work and looking at our own thoughts, feelings, and emotions and judgments and how they can block intuition. But one of the things I'd like to share with you is that there's a close relationship between instinct or gut feelings and intuition. They're not exactly the same, but intuition can access your instincts in order to get a message to you. And this is particularly important for people that have busy minds, which is most people. So the key thing is to remember that your instincts are your survival drives. So some instincts are the instincts to move, the instincts to breathe, the instincts to poop, to pee, the instincts to sleep, the instinct to create, and the instinct to love. So when you're wanting to use your intuition, one of the most important things you can do if you're asking a question or you're not sure, for example, say you're out hiking and you get lost and you can't remember which way to go and there's three different trail options. In this case, you could use your instincts to pick up intuitive insights so you might get a heartfelt feeling that that way is the best way. You might have a gut feeling where you sense deep in your gut that that one's the right way. So the key thing is that you want to pay attention not just to your mind, which is where most people tend to think that their intuition comes in, but sense what your body is telling you because if there's something important your soul's trying to get to you but it can't get it through your mind, you will get a strong sense in your body. One of the ways I would point that you can use this information is if somebody's telling you a lie, then you get a gut feeling you get a feeling of distortion. But you also know that when you're hearing the truth, there is sort of a sense of open connection and your body feels more relaxed and there's a sense of almost as though something's drawing you toward it. You're drawn toward the truth. So when you're using your intuition, if you feel drawn toward like you're hearing the truth, that's important. But if your intuition is giving you information that says don't go or that's not something you should believe in, there will be an inner sense almost like you get when you know somebody's telling you a lie. So this is really how we can use our instincts to tune into our intuition because your mind and your body are really fused together as one living system. We can get intuitive insights that come like flashes, but we can also get direction from our body if our mind is too busy. So I look forward to sharing much more with you for our two-day workshop here at the Rainbow House in Fallbrook, California, on top of a mountain with beautiful views, lots of great people, great food, great environment, and nothing's more important to learn to use in the environment we're in socially, politically, around the world today than your intuition for reasons that I suspect are obvious to you now. So I'd love to share more and so would Angie. We both have a lot of practice and skills we can offer you that'll really help you feel safer in the world. Lots of love. See you then.